Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss about the Cisco Unity connection. And in today's topic, I'm gonna to discuss about the roles which we can give it to a particular user. Not a user, I can say uh, the person who will have a kind of rights who can create custom users, create a users, create a voicemail for the users, uh, reset the passwords, change the password. So we are gonna create, I, I'm gonna actually show you how we can give the particular roles to the users or how we can create a custom role as well for the user, not for, uh, not for a particular user who is uh, just gonna use it for a voicemail, but these roles are for the, uh, I can say the network admins, I can say, or the voice admins who are gonna working on this Cisco Unity connection. So let me show you how we can give the roles and how we can create the customs roles. Let me just log in to this uh, Unity and then I'll show it to you. First, I'll show you what all are the rules which are already roles which are already uh, by default created. So let me go to the users first and let me show you how we can uh, create a particular user with a role. Like I am logged in with this administrator and you want to, uh, if, if you have a new employee uh, which is, which you uh, who joined your organization like few months back or few days back and you are the wholesale administrator who is working on this is community connection and you want to give him a particular role so that he can do the job like adding users adding the voicemail creating passwords changing the passwords and all other things right or you must have help desk administrators you must have user administrator you must have audit users audit technicians these roles we can assign it directly to one of the user so let me just add a new user so here we have, I am just adding a new user and I'm not adding that particular user with a mailbox because I don't need a mailbox for that particular. That is not a particular user. I can say that is a admin with partial access, right? So I just added user without mailbox. Based on template, it will show administrator template, right? So in the alias, I can just add test, test, and we can just add it as a test two. This is like first name test one, test two. Okay, and we just, we just don't need to add any other thing. Just click on save, right? So once you click on save, you will be able to see the more options for this particular test user. So with the help of this alias, that is test, you can log into your Cisco Unity connection, depending on the role, which I'm gonna provide it right now. I'm gonna show it to you. Right. So here, this is uh, these are or these all are the details which you can see. But now you want to give a role to this particular user. So for this, you need to go to edit. And here you can see, uh, once you uh, once you are adding this user without a mailbox, you will not be able to see all these options. Like you you can't uh, do anything on these options for this particular user because this user is created for partial admin rights or the full admin rights, depending on the role you are giving. So for that, you need to go to this roles. Here you can see assigned role is system administrator. This is by default. If you want to change it, just click drag and drop. What it's saying, are you sure you want to remove the system administrator role? Why? Because you have created this user without a mailbox. And if you are removing the system administrator, it won't do anything. So let's just add any other like greetings administrator. I can just, or we can say read only administrator. I can just click on this one. Now, if you want to remove this system administrator, you can. It is saying, are you sure you want to remove? Yes, okay. Now you can remove it because you already gave the rights of greeting administrator, read only administrator, right? If you want to give any other user administrator again, you can just, drag and drop or you can just not drag and drop just click on this uh, up arrow and down arrow you can give the system administrator as, so you can give as many roles as you want to that particular user right right so let me just click on save so, yeah before clicking on save so these all are the roles which are created by default and now you don't know uh, like in greeting administrator what all are the access this particular user will be having 
because these are created by default and you want to see it, right? So greeting administrator, read only, user admin, user, system admin, you can just give it to this user. Now let me click on save and then I'll show you what all these roles contains the access, right? For that, you need to go to again the system settings and here you can see the roles. And once you click on this system roles, you will be able to see uh, all these roles which are showing up there when I was assigning it to a particular user. Here you can see audio text administrator, audit administrator, greeting, help desk, remote system, read only, system admin technician, all other roles are showing up here. So this one, uh, which is the system administrator, this is the highest role. You can say top level connection administrator, access to all connection administrative functions, reports and tools for servers and users, right? This is the highest level role. And once you click on this one system administrator, you will be able to see uh, all the roles which are provided. This is the description, right? And here you can see all the roles which are provided to this system administrator. Here you can see access general system configuration data view only, whether he is having access, he's just having access to view as uh, view only. For this manage users, view and update. And for all other things like class of service system settings distribution list here, you can see, you can create it, view it, update it and delete it, right? it is having all these access on this particular system administrator role, right? Uh, with the help of this one, you can check other roles as well. Not only the system administrator, you can check other roles as well. Like what all are the access on the different, different roles, right? So let me just get back to the roles here. You can see, you can just check it one by one. I'm not gonna show it here, uh, like one by one, what all are the access right so now let me show you how we can create a new role if like you want to create a new role for your environment you you don't want to use this uh, by default roles for that you need to again go to the same system settings roles and then you can click on this custom roles right so custom roles nothing is there at, because that's why it is showing found zero custom roles you want to create a new one just click on this add new option so once you click on this add new option it will ask you to enter a name for this particular role so suppose you just want to give it a, a to the it users okay it department users so let me just give it a role as it department right description you can just give anything like uh, mid-level access partial access or same thing, pin level access, mid level access or partial access is the same thing. I can say mid level access or read only access to everything. Like depends on the description you want to give. Now you have this role privilege assigned privileges, right? So here you have all the available privileges which are in, available in the Cisco Unity connection. If you want to give all the privileges to this particular IT department, just select it and click on this arrow, right? You can select it like this one by pressing the control, right? And then you can provide it like in this way. You can click on this one, then it will just provide access to the all to this assigned privilege, right? So let me just remove it first as of now and let me show you another thing so here you can how you can give the access like you can just read it out and you can give like system settings global nicknames subject line formats full access enterprise passwords full access system setting advanced full access right before that let me show you this inherit system role option what is the role of this inherit system role as of now it is showing none right so here you can see it is providing you these six by default roles like not it's not showing every role it is just showing the few audio text administrator greeting help desk technician user and tenant right the normal administrator access if you want to click on this so like once uh, if you want to give the same access rights of audio text administrator to this it department and you want to add other as well 
then you can just click on this audio text administrator right and once you click on this audio te text administrator you will be able to see all the privileges assigned to this audio text administrator will show up here here you can see it and if you want to change it to any other like greeting administrator or help desk administrator you can click on help desk in the help desk you can see help desk only reset the user passwords and reset user mwl but now you are creating this new custom role for it department and you just want to give a uh, one or two privilege above to the help desk administrator then you can just click on this inherit system help desk administrator it will uh, assign these roles and if you want to give them an access to manage the users as well or like assign or unassigned roles, name attributes, manage users in bulk, then you can just click on the, or you want to just provide them a full access for the users. Then you can click on manage users, click on here, like the persons who are in IT department. If you give them this particular role of IT department, they can reset the user's password, they can reset user MWI as well, and they can manage the users as well. Manage users, that means this particular tab, manage users, users, import users, and sync users, right? If you want to give them access of this one, class of service, full access, you can just click on this one, class of service, click on this arrow, class of service, full access. They have the access of this one. Want to give them uh, templates, contacts, DL, or call management. Let's just say you want to give them an access of call handlers. Then you can go to this, you can check the call man, uh, call management. Under the call management, you can see there are other things like sys directory call handler, full access or view create and update only. Interview handlers, full access or view create. Next one is call routing rules. So you want, you, it depends on you, how you want to give them an access, right? These are directly an interview. Here you can see it is a managed call handler greetings if you want to give them a greeting access. Managed call handler and system call handler full access. This one, you want to give them an access of call management and only the system call handlers. You can give them this one. Managed call handler templates, this one, and system call handlers full access if you want to give them a full one or this one. So you can click on this one or to just uh, click on this left arrow and then you can click on save, right? So once you click on this save, now you know you have the role of help desk administrator as well as these three additional access. Manage users full access, class of service full access, manage call handler templates and system call handlers full access, right? So I just clicked on save. Now it will show you it's successful, like role is created. Now you can see this role is created, right? Let's just click on next and we'll see what all are the things it will show next because I, I don't know what it will show uh, once I click on this next. Now you can assign this IT department role to any of the user, right? So it is just showing reach the end of the list. Nothing is there once you click on this next. Okay, let me go back to the users and here I will show you, it will, it will show the this particular role which I just created. So I created this test user earlier. Let me click on this test one and let me create the password for this particular test user as well so that I can show it to you by signing out. Okay, let me click on add change the password first and let me just add the enter the password and click on save now let me go back to this roles and let me check the it department role if it is showing in available roles here you can see it is showing it department let me just click on this one and let me remove all these roles okay now this particular user is having access to the IT department only and let me click on save updated role. Let me just sign out and sign back in with this particular test user. Okay, now let me click on this test. One, two, three, four, five, six is the password which I created for this particular user and you will be able to see now. Yeah, you can see it now. It is showing the 
it is showing that this particular role list which I created is logged in with his credentials, right? So now you can see if I click on uh, because this particular user is having access to this users manage users class of service as well. And I believe I give an access of system call handlers as well because I, I don't know, but I don't give them any access to this particular roles and all other things. So let me click on this system role and we'll see you can see it now. Let me click on this custom role whether he will be able to create it or not update it or not you can do it or not. So it it can see you can see this IT department role it is showing mid level access read only access to everything let me click on this add new so once i click on uh, sorry i said click on add new now i'm click i just clicked on this IT department role and let's see whether we can change anything we can update anything or not okay so here you can see let me just add any anything else networking click on this one let me click on save and we'll see whether it is getting saved or not we can see it's having manage users class of service and manage call handlers access only so i just clicked on save and let me see if it is getting saved or not i believe it should not saved because you are not providing a role here you can see what it's saying it is saying not authorized you cannot add anything from this privilege to this privilege because you don't have the particular rights to do this thing right so you can check it for all other users as well and if i uh, now you know uh, this particular user is having access to users class of service and manage call handlers full access if you want to add anything in the this system call handler class of service create update anything you can do that because you have the full access to these particular three tabs users class of service and the system call handlers under this call management right i hope now you know how you can create the custom role for that particular user and how you can assign it to the particular users so you can uh, just let me know in the comment section if you have any queries or any doubts just let me know i will surely reply to your queries if you really like this video then please click then please like share and subscribe my channel and please press the bell icon so that you will be able to receive notifications of all my upcoming videos thank you